Hello everybody, this is Tremaine Little John with Celestial Plantis Morals saying hello and good morning. Um, it's 7-9-2018, a beautiful Monday. Um, I'm here at uh, the beautiful Panera Breads. Um, it's awesome to come here and enjoy, you know, your cup of coffee, a beautiful uh, pastry or, you know, get one of their select... Um, you know, uh, dinners or lunches, um, which they serve and stuff like that, which is, it's not everything that they serve, you know what I'm saying? It seems to be like, uh, lightweight, uh, beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Um, meal. And so, uh, I'm just here. It's beautifully awesome to come here to, you know, um, bring yourself here to, enjoy you know the surroundings and get yourself to you know conversate build um and study um your life or write a book write an excerpt you know do your homework or you know do something while you know finding yourself peace within the establishment but here we're not here to talk about Panera Breads. We're here to talk about growth. This is Tremaine Little John with Celestial Plantis Moral saying hello and hi, how are you guys doing? Um, growth, you know, it's this is the second video on uh, growth uh, in which I want you guys to, you know, enjoy. Um, growth is about, like I was saying, growth is about maturity. Growth is about the finds of who you could be throughout a plan and a structure and a condition, ning, a conditioning of who you are to become. And um, as you become your beautiful, wonderful, successful self, uh, you find yourself to find yourself uh, indulging in the right tools and the right, you know, um, plans and structuring of who you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to manage your life and, you know, get your life in order as well to, you know, uh, condition and recondition yourself for the next level of a sequence of events in which God and, you know, God has helped you to build into a world of things in which you're supposed to find yourself doing. It's not always, you know, God gives you the space to find yourself, you know, to find yourself to want purpose, have purpose, have desires, hobbies, um, businesses, services, products to, you know, you know, make other people enjoy who you are as a product of yourself as well. You know, um, it's beautiful that um, you find to love yourself. You know, you find to love yourself to want to build into, you know, other people, your structured, um, your structured knack of doing things the correct and moral way that uh, align up with the structure of success. And as we look forward to building our, our character, that, that's going to be, you know, a pleasant, a pleasantry to everybody. Um, we find ourselves to want more and more out of life. Uh, we continue to fight for the best aspects of life. Um, and, you know, it's not denial that we you know, push away the ignorance of life or whatever like that. Um, I think being truthful to yourself will, you know, moreover get you out of the ignorance and ways of, you know, foolishness and uh, bias, lust and all the other stuff or whatever like that. And if you find your true heart of morality and, um, you know, unracism and unbiased, ways of, of of life and stuff like that and you know there's there's many racist ways it's not just about color it's not just about um 
you know, race and color and all that other stuff or whatever, but we want to, you know, hold ourselves up as holy people. We want ourselves to be beautifully heterosexual. Um, uh, if there's a problem with that, you know, it's only male and female that can procreate, and uh, we're sorry for those that are trying to do things correctly. We know that there are uh, points in life where we get demonized, and it's a demon system, basically, what we're living in um, if we're not perfect, and we're not in a perfect existence. Um, so you know the the game between, you know, our held reality about natural uh, law towards spiritual law is, is, is imbalanced because the natural law states that, you know, we should not have criminal acts or criminal offenses or anything like that. But then you have the spirit, you know, floating around, you know, giving us notions to do criminal acts and you know, offenses and things of that nature. And then we have to find um, ourselves to balance and tell the truth about what the issue of uh, creative creation um, has to get us out of the offenses of what we may find ourselves trying ourselves into or even succeeding uh, hate, hatefully to say success uh, succeeding um, you know offenses or whatever like that but um, the fault in our ourself that um, that states that we are not perfect and the things of that um, between natural law and spiritual law uh, we find ourselves to you know see that you know there's a way out there is a way out um, we, we don't want to be a part of it, but lawlessness, it brings you to lawlessness once they break between the, 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 the natural law. You know, um, the natural law is first, regardless, natural law of the spirit, natural law of human quality, natural law of angelic quality um, and celestial you know, uh, quality and beings and stuff of that nature. Um, natural law, even in the creatures uh, law that the animals go through in which they're supposed to, you know, hold tame and, you know, find the real resources in which they're supposed to indulge in and to eat and things of that nature um, that are not going to be harmful to each other so that they coexist together like we as humans try to, you know, coexist together without, you know, mauling each other and, you know, becoming cannibals and I'm going to eat your brain and all that other great and wonderful, you know what I'm saying? So we don't want to go through that. We want to um, find ourselves doing better than, you know, being violent and untamed. And we want to grow beyond the ignorance in which... Um, we be we have been placed in and beset in, and so what we're looking for is for everybody to challenge what the spiritual and spiritual laws of I or eyes um, you know continue to force us to see into by you know rejecting those those demons in which are you know roaming the earth and. You know, you know, um, basically the immoral things, you know, people do. We do have human people that have fallen to offense um, that are being challenged with life because they have seen some some force of way of them becoming. Um, how can I say uh, a help to the existence um, by being faulted? And knowing that they were going to fault because they do walk our life before we even walk our life and we should be thankful that we are who we are you know and thank god for who they are as um i am you know i am who you guys are you know in such a way that uh we feel free out of our speech conversation sight things that we uh experience and things of that nature um 
But look, I'm looking for you guys to understand when you offend something or you offend somebody, even in, if it was natural, the life that we were going through, which is not natural at this these moments of being um, impeded on spiritually and, you know, getting angered. You know, when, when you are angry at something, it could be a natural way of anger. But when you feel an uproar or a spiritual emotion that, that's in you, you know, it's others or an other entity um, pushing you to get angry. Regardless if it's yourself in the spirit, you know, you need to tell yourself to tone it down or, you know, uh, a parent or anything else that, you know, can administer you towards you as angel, as an angel of, you know, look at the video that I'm making right now. Um, you see me. I'm not like when I finish this video, I won't be there. Um, uh, understand that. And so then you understand what existence God and God is. God and God is represent good. See, if you put an O in the middle of, um, you know, uh, God, you get good. You put an O in the middle of goddess, take off the N-E-S-S, and, you know, uh, you got good again. You know, and then, um, so God and goddess represent good. You know, and so uh, I want you guys to get away from, and the devil or evil you know, represents, you know, evil quality or she devil or whatever you want to call them, you know, um, you know, and so it's, it's sort of crazy how, how we fall to offense, um, and need these stunt double lookalikes wanting there to be, you know, the removal of, you know, all these people out there in the world that we've, we've offended, you know, because of a spiritual demonization. Like, we, we got tempted into, you know, uh, do them wrong and temptation or desire uh, a fake quality or, or falsehood, um, you know, jaded your mind into want these things. Now, correct love and ignorant love and all the other stuff like that or whatever like that, correct love off on, you know, yourself waiting to be taken into at the right moment and all the right time and all the other stuff or whatever like that, that's perfectly fine. But, um, you know, don't display, like, ignorance or whatever like that throughout, you know, the wait and, you know, you, I want to get with you now, baby, and girl, you... You, you, you know, don't fight for something that does not want you and stuff like that. You got to move on and take yourself to another level of things. Um, find yourself first. Now, once you find yourself, then you'll know what's true for you and you'll know what's true for, you know, yourself to um, hold to and, and things of that nature. That's how growth becomes who you are. You know, you mature and you study and you look forward to, you know, um, know yourself. And so what we're looking for out here is the building of our true nature, our, our, our success for plan, action, education, um, the quality of teaching and, you know, the student level, at the student level and at the teacher level. Um, we want you to we want you to be educated on the things in which you're supposed to be educated on, which are, you know, the purposes of our life, um, you know, holiness, um, you know, continual, continual manner education and morals, um, continual, you know, etiquette and continual, you know, posture in which you're supposed to hold yourself, you know, um, hold yourself to want to dress nice every day, take a shower, be clean, um, find yourself to, you know, love, uh, you know, finding yourself to read a book in the morning or writing a script and rehearsing that script. You know, don't get so bogged down like I do at, at most times or whatever like that. And I write something so beautifully. Um, that I come back and I, I, I even edit and I know I've edited it, but then I come back to it again and know I haven't spent enough time 
on that piece to know that I still have error in, in the piece or I could expand on the piece but get lazy about you know um, not wanting to go any further to manifest a book and not a three page four page five page ten page 25 page 35 page 45 page 50 page excerpt or whatever like that and find myself a chapter and continue into another chapter until I have at least 13 chapters within a book. Um, it's as beautiful as it, it gets after you start to study yourself. And as you start to get more self, self you, have, you have confidence that you become self-reliant and you know, um, you work, you're workable and you're able to work towards your greater self as um, a beautiful human being, you know, of, of quality, to the quality point of finding yourself advancing to levels of angelic quality. And then as we get better, and this is what, this is another thing of growth that I try to tell people, you know what I'm saying? You're not here just to be a human being. You're here to advance. You know, if you start a company and, or if you step into a company, let's not say if you start a company, if you start a company, then you're the CEO, you're the chief, you're the head of it already, you know, but climbing the success ladder, you know, in anything, you have to, you step up a level, you know, so find yourself to be that wonderful where you start stepping up levels, you know, to in the spiritual realm and in the natural realm, um, becoming more powerful and more, you know, headstrong and more um, mannerable and more moral and, you know, more strength uh, within your ability. Um, find yourself doing martial arts, basketball, soccer, tennis, um, you know, gymnastics, um, wrestling, uh, fencing even. Um, uh, what else? Uh, kickboxing, uh, boxing, um, start yourself to find yourself more intelligent, not just to play an instrument, but to compose and learn how to arrange musical uh, arrangements to make music, to learn how to, you know, build a song or build a composition that um, is an awesome symphony, a symphonic, uh, beautiful pose of things. It's awesome. And so um, I'm looking forward for yourself to become educated, you know, love education, love life, love to enjoy the world, you know, by, you know, falling, even if you was to fall on the ground, fall on the ground, you know, as an accident that was to happen to happen, and you just look in the grass or whatever like that, you look at the grass and you have an image of, you know, funniness or it was, oh, it just happened, ah. Oh. But you see the grass on the ground and you see the fullness of what it is, you know, out of nothingness, that it, it, it's nothing, but it's something. Every time you make a point to point towards something, to encourage it in a, in a direction, to turn it into something greater than something evil, immoral, or anything like that. You give it, you give it direction. And so falling to the ground, you make grass people or something and make your little grass cartoon people or whatever like that, that um, are, you know, the morals, the moral grass says. And you know, you give it a voice, you, you give it a script and you start talking to it start building it up and you start giving it um you know direction for other people to learn to become the student and learn the study in which you're putting together making them teachers after a while once they get the point what a student is a student is a a forming teacher you know what i'm saying you don't go to school just to learn all that science math the social studies world history and all that other stuff or whatever like that that's um you know in the the curriculums of the classes of k through 12 pre-k to high school to college and to the career in which you're supposed to find yourself after your career comes 
uh, you become a teacher. But after every grade that you have studied into and you pass through, you are supposed to become a teacher of the lower level in which you're you're um, above. And so find yourself to fine tune yourself to, you know, always be the student, always be the teacher, you know, just channel it where it comes back and forth, where you're rehearsing, you know, as as you go over and over the things. So by the time your kids come through, you find yourself at a point where you're the teacher and they're the student and you learn and teach them how to be the teacher and the student after a while and you are up to date on the curriculums in which they're studying and stuff like that so that you can teach them once they come home and you give them extra credit or extra uh, homework and things of that nature so that they could you know find themselves um, you know building a stronger um, educational you know strength of mind and memory and um, work on things that talk about memory and you know and rehearsal and um, you know the action in which they are able the ability to uh, perform and you know um, place out their place out their 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 know-how their knowledge you know uh, knowledge is one thing but correctness is is another see somebody doesn't build a curriculum for you to you know go out the box they want you to stay in the box so that once you go out the box to expand to build your connective or expansion curriculum or even a, another dialect of or terminology towards the um, curriculum that you build. You know, um, even in building a language, you can still use the alphabet um, and, you know, switch it around to whatever form or fashion that you would you would like it to be or, you know, you could curve this curve that that way and pronounce it uh, differently or whatever um, but still you had to learn you learn from somewhere not that even that you learn it from somewhere you can take it otherwise and get rid of that once you figured out your structure of self you know what I'm saying and then you start to build your language and place yourself into the um, beautiful aspects of, of, of what your dialect is and, and what your terminology means and what's the uh, what's the motto you know and you find yourself the motto and you you know um, you place yourself to <clears throat> help yourself get to the students in which you want in in your life or whatever which should be the whole existence because if you're building a curriculum or you could just be building for a world and die with it or whatever and hope for the best because existence um, is a masterful thing. Um, you know, if somebody succeeded to this uh, example world, which we uh, are sort of dislike of, <laughs> it's a broken marriage all the way somewhere. Um, but um, we're, we're not worried about it over the new generation of um, a form of um, marriage that is... Um, too many marriages in, in, in one in one plane of uh, existence, which is uh, making us fall away from you know each other. Um, it's a it's a it's an incredible marriage and a, an incredible way of putting the uh, existence together. Since we have so many offensive things out here, or whatever we're um, we're not we're not mad about you know being here because there's so many beautiful things that we enjoy about it. Um, but uh, we're upset about, you know, some of the offensive and uh, unworthy things in which uh, hold to who we are as a set of people um, that are supposed to be heterosexual. And, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of them or a lot of us are out here, you know, in the world, you know, um, being broken and broken into and you know spiritually and it's unnatural and all that other stuff and 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 people are calling to it to protest and um petition you know crazy and weird things like gay marriage and all the other stuff or whatever like that which is a problem 
Um, and so what we're supposed to be doing is, you know, finding our way to those that are more smart to get out of the offensive natures of the immoral um, and the immoral things that, that go with um, being disobedient and not studying to teach your kids the right way to go. You know, train your child up in the right way to go and they will go in that way in which they were trained um, for moral character to be educated and all the other stuff or whatever. So we have to find ourselves doing better than, you know, foolish ignorance and, and um, bless our life with um, challenging the, the ways of ignorance. Um, growth, maturity. Let's, let's find ourselves to do better than, than stepping out away from our kids and stepping away from ourselves and belittling ourselves and, you know, having low self-esteem and, you know, having no self, you know, confidence about ourselves to um, be self-reliant, you know, um, a workaholic, you know, a workaholic towards, you know, education and fun. Even education is fun. You just have to find yourself wanting to learn, you know, and the will, the wanting to learn is to wanting to figure out, you know, if somebody gave you a puzzle or crossword puzzle, you wouldn't want to be incomplete off on finishing the puzzle. You would want to, you know, search and find out what the crossword puzzle um, stands for, you know, and you want to look for whatever it is, you know, you go through a couple searches. Existence will give you the answer after a while if you start searching. But see, the, the thing of the, the existence um, and where we're at, I think it's building worlds after worlds of um, marriages in which are credible to keep to. And for those that keep falling back to the earth, um, they're going to be deleted or they're going to keep on giving them chances until they fulfill their their goal into being, you know, the correct type of people to, you know, gain a world out of a marriage and stuff like that or whatever. So it's a beautiful thing after a while. You just got to change your game um, and get away from the offensive things that go through life. Um, but look forward to, you know, blessing your life with, with something more than, you know, foolishness and all the other stuff. And grow away from the um, slothfulness in which you can find yourself becoming and laziness. And, you know, do something with your leisure time. And even at, at work and stuff like that, don't look to be a worker bee all day long, you know, um, off on just working for somebody, you know, find yourself the time and you will find time to, you know, build yourself in the, um, the, uh, you will find time to build yourself into a business. And even if it's not a business of your own, you know, working for, working for a team of people, partners, you know, uh, building a partnership and, and, and to building a business or a product or a service or a, um, you know, a nonprofit or something like that. Uh, find yourself to want to do something extra to get that extra money for that house so that you're not um, on a lower level, uh, you know, a poor level. You know, poor, poorness means you have no money sometimes. Like, I mean, I mean, literally. Like, if you have no money in the bank, you're poor. You know, you if you lose your your money, or if you have no money, I'm, I swear to God, I swear on the life of my own life, you know, you could be paying all your bills every month, but if you run out of money throughout that month, or even the next month, or, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You're poor. We're poor. We're the type of people that, you know, people hate to... Just think about, you know, um, off on knowing that you could succeed farther than than what you're succeeded to, and um, you're poor. You have no money in the bank. Uh, you're broke, you're busted, and disgusted. Sometimes, you know, it just it doesn't work. Fine tune your life. Start doing real estate. Um, you know, find yourself into real estate. Find yourself into teaching something. Uh, you could be a homeschool tutor or something like that. You know, you could tutor other people's kids at home. Um, you could take a couple hours. You know, 
a couple hours. All you got to do is like learn one curriculum very well. <laughs> you should learn all of it. But you know, you could do mathematics, and if you're an excellent mathematician, you know, uh, you teach that that math skill four hours a day, and you make that money. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's awesome, right? And so if you teach your kids how to do this, they can do the same thing. And so if you know how to, you know, place your child in the, um, in the, in the game of, you know, learning and teaching and, and, and building as students and teachers or whatever like that, or you give them the, the dual role, the, the double role of, of planning the, planning their their careers as teachers and stuff like that so they finish one they finish first grade you what do you do you know you get them to second grade and you step them down a level to teach what they've learned in the first grade and start from there and continue them all the way up you know until college and stuff like that until they become straight tutors uh, or they can use that for to become tutors and you you found yourself a job you know what i'm saying you can do craft look i was talking about grass right they got these little square pots these little square pots right or rectangle pots uh you could do grass uh, i forget what they're called um you could stage grass in 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 that that uh that unit of of, of a rectangle you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and sell it off. You can throw it in a shape. It's not a chia pet, my friend. <laughs> it's just not a chia pet. Uh, but um, you could you could do that. You could place it in a heart, place the grass on there, and get some strong grass. Don't get that that thin uh, lining grass or whatever like that, where you can put it through a a pin needle hole and all the other stuff or whatever get some strong you know uh, bluegrass or something like that and uh, go ham with it you know get some heart shapes some sun shapes and all this other stuff stars moons and all the other stuff or whatever like that and call it a day <clears throat> well growth is um, an awesome thing to talk about every day because um, growth and maturity um, are our existence day every day because when you wake up, you've grown another day. You know what I'm saying? You're older. One more day, you've grown. So what what it, what do you have to do? You need to sit down, write your experiences throughout the day. Start a journal um, and find yourself to bless yourself with re reading your journal and rehearsing and learning who you are and learning about the people around you, your alliance and your... Um, your alliance of people will help you understand um, who you are as to who you are to become, who you are to continue to stay as, um, who you are to, you know, advance and um, even failure. You know, um, if you see yourself in so many people that that are you know, advancing out there or whatever like that. It's awesome. But if you see yourself failing around some of these people, you know, you know, you need to move away. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about offensive failure where, oh, man, they don't do no drugs, man. I feel bad. You know, I, I, we don't care about that. We don't worry about you doing drugs or whatever like that. You know, people are going to jail for substances that they can pl plug off a tree and all this other stuff. And they can go get motor or smoke that if they want to. And they're going to jail for ignorant stuff. I want to cuss right there because I got so many people that are locked up for using drugs and all that other stuff or whatever. And it's, it's crazy. But, um... You know, you can go find all these poisonous um, things on, on the shelves of, uh, you know, and they, they have multi-purpose cleaner that you can spray in your mouth that cleans gravel, cleans rocks, cleans degreases, all that. And um, they continue to want to use bleach and ammonia and, and, you know, all these other stuff and all that other stuff or whatever like that. And um I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen people present like, you know, multi-purpose like cleaners in front of me like that I, they sprayed it in their mouth. I literally seen that. So I was, it was over after that. Um, 
So you know, they're whoever they are. Once they get in the stores, um, bleaches and all the other stuff, they can you can wash clothes with it and everything. They just they demonstrated everything that you could you could use with it. It's a multi-purpose cleaner. It's a detergent and all kind of other stuff and they need to get out there to where they wipe out the bleaches and the ammonias and all the other stuff off the shelves because um, alcohol uh, used to be called spirit and it knew it was a spirit of uh, you know it, it dismalized your life or whatever or jade your life <laughs> once you uh, use the alcohol at a, 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 a level of you know higher level of uh, you know consumption and stuff or whatever but um can't worry about them we gotta worry well we gotta worry about them going to jail and stuff for stupid stuff um it does make a person mad um about uh you know i don't care what it is heroin coke crack cocaine marijuana if it's their body let them use it you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter you know it's about how moral they are you know what I'm saying? And once they figure out that existence is holding them away from it or putting them to it or whatever like that, they'll understand how to hear the voice of God and goddess to build their life into the right, you know, aspects. Just like I have. I used to use drugs, crack cocaine, weed, marijuana, pills, pork sets, <laughs> whatever, yeah. You know, they had me going all the way. I was gone, man. And um, it's just it's just something about you know doing the right thing and becoming more uh, more like a holy teacher or holy preacher, you know that's why my name is Holy Teacher Now Awesome. Like my motivational speaking name is Holy Teacher Now Awesome. My real name is Tremaine Little John, and I love myself. You know, I have a full structure of things that have holy meanings, holy purposes, holy outcomes, holy, holy outlooks, you know, and um, so looking for you guys to do your best and your best planning and things of that nature. So can you build your life to grow? And this is Tremaine Little John with Celestial Plant is Moral. This is not, there's gonna be more, um, you know, videos on growth and maturity, um, but this is my first. I hope you guys in, are in, in like of it. I hope I did good, and I love you guys. Uh, peace out. Miss Adelaide Figueroa is not here today to speak on her behalf of, you know, interrupting me, basically, while I was I was doing a video. You know, I got so hot, uh, and I, was, I didn't mean to be get upset or anything like that or whatever like that. I should have talked in a more uh, humbler way. I was like, what are you doing? I know you see me doing this video. <laughs> But um, excuse it. She should. She'll. She'll. Um, she's gonna be helping me on. She speaks two languages. You know, she speaks English and Spanish. Um, her kids are beautiful. Um, and uh, you know, they're Spanish and, and and white or Italian and you know uh, whatever else that she is or whatever. We're all mixed up, anyways, out here in the world. Um, so believe it, um, guys. Uh, we'll be doing this in. You know, uh, all different languages and stuff like that once I get my team of people together or whatever and we'll enjoy it. Um, mostly the videos and stuff like that are going to be singular or team um, teams of people to put the, you know, we might have a translator sometimes, we may not. Um, uh, but the writings are going to be translated back and forth which I can do on uh, Word right now and uh, get it translated. Um, they have that translation, you know, point uh, where you can, you know, put your translation into uh, the, the the box or whatever like that, and press the button, and your whole whole translation will turn in turn up on the page or um, in the box, and you re um, you know redo it. Or pick, copy and paste, and redo a, another page of um, while well, with the translation and stuff like that. So um, this is Tremaine Little John with Celestial Planets Moral saying, continue to grow and mature in positive and awesome ways, and be a beautiful moral every day. Pray and believe in God and Goddess Marriage. We the kids 
or we the adults and kids of obedience and correctness um, or believe in God uh, or goddess existence is um, love yourself thank you and goodbye I love you guys and I enjoy you uh, call me um, or email me at celestial planets moral uh, at gmail.com celestial planets moral at gmail.com uh, and give me a call or give me um, shoot me an email and I'll tell you how to uh, get on our counseling team or to get counseling um, we need people to help out with the with the company as motivational speakers and counselors um, we're gonna build a university after a while I wanted to tell you that too um, we're gonna build a university which is gonna be a motivational and count motivational speaking and counseling um, university and then after a while after a series of years it's gonna be a curriculum um, um, uh, university as well uh, and we'll tell you what we're gonna base it off of um, which are which is going to be mostly business and uh, counseling uh, intellectual property law and uh, business development and product development because you have to build a product you have to build a service you have to build a business and I don't think there's anybody out there right now running off of intellectual property law as being their main business uh, but it's business law or whatever like that um, and criminal law and stuff or whatever like that but it'd be law you know what I'm saying um, and it's uh, police infatuated love yourself uh, get those foolish laws out there that don't make any sense out of the damn way <laughs> okay this is Remain Little John with Celestial Planets Moral Sinks keeps drug free and get holier every day but if you're using drugs use them safely and plan your life out correct thank you and goodbye love you